What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I know it's going to be a controversial video, but before I say this, I want you to understand that I appreciate every one of you that watches my channel. I just had to use some of your comments to get my point across because I've seen so many creators on this platform talk about the yard. I've got so many people commenting things like this. And I wish that before you guys type the paragraph, you listen to what I had to say and you understand what EA is showing you. Because when you come to me and you tell me that I'm making assumptions, I'm not. When you talk to me about gameplay not being released, that's on EA, not on me. When you talk to me about how annoying it is to see 15 videos a day and get a life, I wonder, how are you searching video games on YouTube to begin with? But that's beside the point. Let's focus on a lot of the context of the past couple days. They're trying to make a park like 2K. Look at 2K Sports. Look at the gameplay in NBA 2K. They're just trying to pull off a park. Ryan, you're wrong. We've been asking for the park for years, and you guys are right. A lot of people have wanted a Madden-esque park. But these two comments stood out to me. By my logic, 2K should just get rid of the park. And the franchise I love, because people just want to create that divide between 2K and EA. Do the same exact thing as Madden with the yard. It's called the park. Look it up. These comments could not be further from the reality of what's going on. First of all, I never said anything about 2K getting rid of the park. And second of all, it's not even the same thing. Let's take a look at a channel you've probably heard of, a friend of mine, QJB. Let's take a look at what makes the park successful, okay? This is three users. You can see their screen names down at the bottom, okay? This is a person versus a person online, okay? This is the team that they're facing. Again, it's three people. This is what makes it so successful. It's an open world. It's a living environment. Okay, and when people look at this, they want this in a backyard football game. But EA is coming out and telling you that they're not giving you this. They're absolutely saying to you that they arrived at the conclusion that three humans controlling six players strikes a great balance between focusing on your player and making sure as many people as they can get involved in a single play. This essentially is rebranding squads with new fields and viable gear. Okay, no game has been successful like this, okay? Go watch the NBA pro -Ams when a computer player comes in. Go watch NASCAR online when computer players fill a field. It never works. When you look at what they want to do here, it's right in front of your face. Equip your avatar with the freshest gear you've ever seen. They want to sell you gear, guys. That's all they want. And they're not even bashful about it, okay? They literally say, find your fit in the yard with the freshest gear you've ever seen in Madden. You know why it's the freshest gear you've ever seen in Madden? Because it's the first time you're going to have to pay for gear in Madden. The reality is, online gaming is online gaming. And any one of you that doesn't want to leave a game when the computer becomes involved is just not being honest with yourself. If computer gameplay was so important, let me ask you this. If computers AI was so important in gameplay, why wouldn't they just allow you to continue to play the computer when someone disconnects online? All the desync errors could be resolved by having a computer play out the game. Why don't they do that? They used to in 2K. Why don't they do that in Madden if the computer is such a critical element to the game? Because of this. Madden cash, Madden points, earn currency. That's why. They want to sell you gear, not a good game. Now, I want to go back to the beginning where they talked about what they've deemed the max they can have is because this is a game called gridiron it's actually free it's in the alpha stage but if you have steam you can go get this game right now for free and you know what this game does already something that ea and madden don't do it allows everyone to play at the same time seven versus seven imagine that they actually took what made the park the concept of it successful which is user versus user and they adapted it to football 
So for each and every one of you that come to my channel and say, oh, this is the park. The, the yard is the park. No, it's not. It's absolutely not. And this is going to go down, in my opinion, because of this. As one of the biggest Madden failures. Right up there with long shot. Same exact shelf life. EA wants to pretend that as a gamer, you aren't intelligent enough to have actual 7-on-7 seven seven or 6-on-6 six six football. They want to assume that you can't run a route or try to pursue to the quarterback or just be a halfback. They assume that you can't work collectively as a team and they have to hold your hand with AI players to get the grunt work done. And maybe, maybe there's some truthfulness in that. Maybe there is a small segment of gamers that only care about themselves and will ruin a team concept because they feel that's fun. They feel that's exciting to go out and run routes wrong or throw the ball intentionally to get an interception or not follow their assignments. Maybe there are gamers like that. But I feel like squads took a big part of that away. But when you come to my channel and you tell me this is what we've wanted. This is what we've asked for. And it's not. Okay? Cut and dry. No one asked for computer-assisted online 3 versus 3 football. If they did, I need to see it. You asked for user versus user, like the park. And you didn't get it. And in the process of not getting it, EA told you why they couldn't do it. And yet I'm showing you a game in the alpha stage that is free to play, that is literally allowing you to do it. But I'm just being negative. I'm waiting for gameplay. I don't need to see gameplay. I know what AI gameplay looks like. So do you, as a matter of fact. So let me ask you this to close this video out. After you've spent $10, $15 on gear, or you've played the game for a day and a half to get a sleeve that you want, and you have to go into a game and see computer-controlled players making mistakes. How likely are you going to be to genuinely care about this game mode? Very little is the answer. Now, you can tell yourself that the game's going to be better than you think it is. But the reality is, most of you play online because you want to play online. Most of you look down on the franchise gamer because it's an offline game mode. And the computer doesn't present any real challenge to you, right? You're too good of a Madden player to play the computer. Yet here they are making you do it in their brand new game mode. And rather than go to EA and tell them, hey, uh, we wanted the park. We wanted user versus user. We want to see who's the best player. We don't want half the computer. We don't need AI players. We're not buying gear to impress the computer. We want to impress our buddies that we play with and play against people online with this intimidating gear. Not the computer. Oh, and by the way, if you're telling us it can't be done, why is this game that's free on the alpha stages allowing it to be done online? Oh, because you don't trust us as gamers to learn how to run a play properly. You think we're going to sabotage the game every time we're on the field, even though Junior over here spent $50 on his gear. That's the state of where EA is in listening to their customer, in trusting their customer. And that, to me, is a big part of the reason why you may see this game mode short term explode, but I feel like over the long run, this is going to die out because people do not want the computer in their online gameplay they never have it's what makes other games so successful guys look at your look at any first person shooter online do you see ai players running around with you no because no one wants the ai element in a person versus person game that is exactly what EA is providing. I guess technically they're not they found the way they've innovated a way to allow you to control two players at the same time Guess we'll see how that works, but I have, I have an idea. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. You know I will be back. Before I go, though, I want you to go watch Soft Drink Sports. He did a 50-plus-minute documentary 
on the fall of EA. I'm included in the documentary. Hopefully it's up by the time you see this. If not, it'll be up the following day. Other than that, I will be back in a week with more commentary.